Well, good evening everybody. It's Sarah Smith here. I've just come down to um, Freeman's Bay in Auckland to Rupert's Cafe to have a bit of a chat with the owner, Dilip Rupert. Um, it came to my attention this week that he's had the police and the uh, WorkSafe officers come to his cafe to tell him that he needs to display his QR code, which he um, didn't want to do. So I wanted to come and get the word straight from the horse's mouth and have a chat about it. So um, thanks for having me here, Dilip, and thanks for being on uh, this little podcast that we're doing. Would you like to start maybe by telling us what happened this week and the order of events? Basically, uh, someone must uh, pimp because, you know, this is part of the setup that uh, people, uh, the government wants, you know, people just snitch on people like uh, what happened in Nazi Germany. And uh, so the police came in on Tuesday. Uh, they said uh, we haven't, we're not displaying a QR code, which is a requirement, and it's mandatory. Uh, I says, well, no, not really necessarily. We've videoed it, and we're going to um, put it on YouTube, uh, but we're just making sure that uh, we're taking everyone's uh, faces out, which uh, should be in there. And um, then people will be able to see. The police actually did a very good job, the two uh, the policemen. Um, and they were very understanding. They said, well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take them in and uh, get the Ministry of Health involved. Uh, the next day, uh, a little, uh, he was a big Hitler boy. Uh, anybody would have thought he was a Gestapo agent. Came in, uh, acting like he was a Gestapo agent. And um, I questioned him, and that's also was videoed, and he didn't like that. He couldn't prove that uh, the mandatory aspect was uh, was lawful. And I requested him to prove that the legislation was lawful. He didn't even have the legislation. I requested him many times he, to provide the, the legislation that he was referring to. He, could, he didn't produce it. He said they go to a website. I mean, say, hey, if you're going to uh, enforce a law, uh, uh, enforce legislation, you should have it on you present. And he didn't. And I says, look, I could have discussed it and just showing you the points of law uh, that I disagree with. And I says, and he said, oh, no, I'm going to just put this this um, n uh, notice. Uh, and uh, by the end of the uh, Wednesday, you're going to have to have a QR code or, you know, we, he was going to take action. I says, come on, what's, he, what's the point of that? Uh, you, you haven't even proven that uh, the legislation you're quoting is lawful. And you're saying I've got a right of appeal. Why should I? I shouldn't have to comply until you prove the law. And you haven't. And you haven't proven that it's lawful. And, it's, and as far as we, I'm concerned, it's, uh, I'm not a slave. And the, I'm not compelled to perform. And that is the whole point. This is not it, it, for it to be mandatory. Now, the important thing that uh, we need to know is that to carry out the action that's requ required uh, is, here it is, very simple. I, I showed him this. It's a timeline, and it's available. You don't have to scan. Uh, it, you're totally tracked. The second point is if you don't want uh, for tracking, uh, majority of transactions are done by FPOS. It's not rocket science to figure out, hey, if someone's got uh, uh, COVID, that you just have to go to the bank statements. It's not rocket science. So what is the necessity for us to be tracked? There is no necessity. Well, the point is, the, uh, this uh, WorkSafe uh, Hitler, uh, Nazi, uh, walked out the door uh, and I was, uh, I was waiting for him to come back with the notice and that was a Wednesday at 11 o'clock. He still hasn't come back and we're talking to you on Friday evening, aren't we? Yeah. So you know that, that is, it is not lawful they are, and they are not able to enforce it. And don't be worried, there is no need for a QR code. Anyone who thinks he has to, they have to put a QR code, and any, and any public uh, who are criticising that uh, for us not carrying the QR code, think. Start using a bit of intelligence because there's, uh, you need to actually think. Do you need to have such a QR code when there are so many mechanisms to do it and there, it does not aid uh, the health at all? It does not aid for tracking. Yeah, and that brings me to um, the point as well that you've actually got the manual sign-in track and trace form as well. Yes, but like I said, yeah. we've got it there for, for people who um, don't have the... You know, we've got a lot of old people around here. They don't, they don't have cell phones. Yeah. 
or yeah, and they don't know how to do a, a download a QR code in that. You know, this legislation, just like the government, is mental, um, and and they, you know they need to get some brain cells. The the reality is this: um, by right, uh, this country should never have had this uh, epidemic coming in for the simple reason we have got borders. We we don't have um, uh, foot and mouth. If there is a foot and mouth the, um, outbreak in New Zealand, um, the farmers are uh, you know, quarantined, and the samples are sent. Not not uh, they're not in New Zealand. In New Z- we actually have, um, according to Patrick Garner or whatever his name is, they guarantee. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that dog. Um, yeah, uh, the the COVID is here. They they, they had they showed it in the bottle. But uh, ask, ask that uh, dork to see if he can see uh, if any laboratory in New Zealand has uh, foot and mouth disease. No. Uh, if, the, if you have a foot and mouth disease break out here, the samples have to go to Australia. Before that, they had to go to Britain because uh, New- Australia didn't even have it. So how come COVID's here? Come on. Okay, so going, going to other businesses, what would you say to other business owners at this time? Other, other business owners need to go, uh, grow some balls. Uh, because I've got big ones, but, uh, and that's the reality of it. Um, you know, you don't bow down to government. Uh, we are not in Nazi Germany. We're not in communist China. For goodness sake, people, so start to showing some bloody um, uh, fortitude. Um, you know, people went to war against Hitler on, on, uh, to uh, fight against this. You know, you think back about what happened in uh, Nazi Germany in the gas chambers. And, uh, you know, that's where I, I get really angry that people don't think that far back. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's almost like people just don't really see what's happening. And, you know, where do you see this going if, if people carry on this way in the next three to six months? Well, the reality is this. Um, uh, if you don't know your history, it will repeat itself. And that's what I see, is what happened uh, in Nazi Germany is repeating itself. Yeah. And um, what, what we're seeing in, um, in China, and at least uh, people in Hong Kong have got balls and, and they're taking on the Chinese government. But what we're seeing here is no, no different to what is happening in China. Uh, we, we're, we're being dictated to. Um, we need to stand up and stop being dita- dictated to. We, 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 I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, there are many different ways of doing something and you, people don't even have to scan if they follow the Google one. If that, you want to be tracked, well then if you, if you, if you have to be tracked, then why, why have a government tracking? Um, why not use Google then? I mean, say, so what's the point? Yeah, so people can, people can click onto their own settings in their phone and they can let Google track them to yeah. everywhere they're going. Yeah, so you've got it. a notice about that. You've also got the manual sign in for people who don't have smartphones. Yeah. So you're actually, you are complying. It's not I, like you're not contact traceable. The, the importance here is um, there is no public health risk. Um, we, we have the FPOS machine. Uh, the FPOS, uh, the FPOS machine um, uh, is easy to track. If anyone does have COVID, all you have to do is go to the bank account, you know, every, all the details, uh, whether they've used SPOS or credit card. And here's, here's the important thing, if the government's so bloody uh, concerned, and all you business guys who do not have, who cannot afford an FPOS machine, which is contactless because of the outrageous uh, charges of the banks, well, tell that Chris, whatever his name is, Fafawa or whatever his name is, while he was Minister of uh, Commerce, why the hell didn't that little uh, dork, again another Labour Party dork, um, you know, sort out the fees for contactless? Yeah. Eh? And now why is it the Labour Party now jumping up and down and using it as an election issue? Right? Why didn't they do it when the lock before the lockdown or during the lockdown? Why? Because Chris is just a lazy bugger. So, and the importance here is the um, the the ability to stand up and not be forced into compelled action well look compelled performance we're not slaves this is why i'm saying we're not in nazi germany there's no necessity for compelled performance but there is a a reason for compelled performance of of that minister chrissy uh i think he's the uh mp for wellington central um and he was commerce he knew um he was told by uh, that they need to change 
the uh, the cost structure for contactless. We, we're paying the most exorbitant uh, contactless um, fees right. on on banks. Uh, so if the, if the government was that concerned, how come they're picking on a Q, me on a QR code and they don't sort out the FPOS? Come on, get your A into G, buddy. Great. Thanks, Philip. No worries. Thanks for being on the on the uh, podcast with Sarah Smith, well, and um, hopefully we'll have well, another chat in the future. Well, can I say one thing? Absolutely. To all the business people Go on. and everyone. Go in on. fact, start looking, getting real, okay? Tell these uh, idiots and ministers like Chris and, and the Tooth Fairy, get off the grass. <laughs>